Hello everyone, you are likely watching this video as you would like to set up Scarlet on your main machine or a separate computer. Uh, Scarlet is a VR chat logger. It will log who joins your instances and also log kicks, warrants, and bans, and more in Discord servers. So, uh, to get started, uh, you want to open up a browser and you want to go to their GitHub repository. I will leave this link in the description below and every other link that you see here. You want to go to the releases tab. Recording this, the current release is 0.4.5. You'll want to click the release. you want to download this. I personally like to have the zip folder as it comes bundled with both versions of Scarlet and the batch file. Copy these. You can go to any folder, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the downloads folder. New folder. You can name this whatever, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be naming this Scarlet, if I can type. You want to go into that folder, and then you want to paste both, both files into the downloads folder. You do not want to run these yet. Leave this open for later. You then want to go over to this site right here. You want to go to the release archive. You will see version number 21 LTS. You want to click on this and you want to find Java version 8. Depending on the operating system you're using, for example, I am using Windows 11. It's obviously 64-bit. You want to be sure you have Windows X64, and then you want to download the install. It'll then download an MSI file. You will wait for that to download. If your browser asks you uh, if you want to open it, it is fine, you can click OK. It'll then go ahead and give you the setup file for Java. Let's follow through. Java is now installed. Once Java is installed, you want to go to your Discord app or the browser, and you want to make a server. So you want to add a server, and then you want to create your own server. You can do whatever. I'm just going to leave this the way it is. It doesn't matter what your server name is. It just needs to be a server name. Go ahead and create the server. And leave this for later. Now that you have your Discord server installed, you want to go to this tab. You'll go to the developer panel. Depending on your situation, you will either have your own bots or you'll have no bots, which is perfectly fine. I would recommend that you make a new bot for this. Go up to new application. You can name this whatever. I'm going to name this tutorial. Probably spelled that wrong. It'll ask you to uh, confirm if you're a robot and it'll also ask you for your 2FA code. But for this example, I do not have 2FA enabled on this Discord account. So, as you'll notice, there's probably a lot of stuff here that you're not used to. It's perfectly fine. The only thing you need to worry about is the installation tab. You want to unselect user install and save the changes. In the guild install, you want to go to scopes. You also want to turn on bot. Save the changes again. In the permissions tab, you want to give it attach files, create polls, create public threads, embed links, manage webhooks, you find it, read message history, send messages, send messages and threads, and view channels. And I personally also like to give priority speaker to the bot. 
as whenever things get called out, it will automatically say it in a Discord channel. With that, you want to save your changes. You then want to go to your bot tab. You want to turn all three of these on, press its intent, server members intent, and message content intent. Save changes. Then save. While you're also in the bot tab, you want to reset your token. It'll ask you for 2FA. Perfectly fine. This token is yours only. You do not want to give this token to anyone. You then want to copy this token and leave this for later. So I would put this in a notepad. And be sure you delete this right after you are done. Now that your bot is now set up, you want to go to installation, copy this install link, go to your server, and paste it in your channel. You'll then see a pop-up like this. You want to add your app. Be sure that it is your server and not someone else's server. You'll see a bunch of the permissions you've added. You then want to click authorize. If you've done it correctly, you will see that your bot has officially joined the server. Right now, you'll notice it is offline. That is because we do not have anything set up. Close your Discord tab or minimize it and go back to Scarlet. You want to run it. Windows protected your PC. If you see this pop up, it is perfectly fine. You want to click on more info and then you want to click on run anyways. You'll see the command prompt download a bunch of specific Java dependencies for Scarlet. Do not close this tab. The VR chat group ID, you want to go back to your Firefox tab or your browser tab. And I've already gotten the group ID. Your group ID is this only. You do not need httpsvrchat.com slash home slash group. You only need group and then your ID. So you want to copy this. You want to paste this. Your Discord bot token. If you have saved this, you want to enter your Discord bot token into Scarlet. Your Discord guild snowflake. Go back to your Firefox tab or your browser tab. Go back to your Discord. When it asks for your Discord at Guild Snowflake, you want to be sure that your developer thing is turned on. So you want to go down to your user settings. You want to scroll down until you see advanced. Click on advanced and you'll see developer mode. Developer modes expose content menu items helpful to people that are writing apps using the Discord API. You want to click on this and turn this on. You then want to go to your server, right click on it and copy the server ID. Paste it and click OK. You will now see a UI that pops up and to enter your VR chat username. If for some reason you get this white tab, you want to click on X, it'll then close it, and then you want to rerun it again. It'll then ask for your VRChat username. This does not have to be your username, it can also be your email. I'm going to be using my email for this. It will then also ask for your VR chat password. It'll then also ask for a 2FA code. 
this 2FA code is likely on your phone or an email that you have received from VRChat. Great. So it'll ask you to close it. You then want to rerun it again. Now you can go back to your Firefox tab, and as you can see, your bot is currently running. In your Discord tab, for the length of this tutorial, I am only going to be using a kick channel. You want to create a new channel. You can name this whatever you like, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be naming it kick. It'll just make it easier. You have a new kick channel. Go back to your general tab or the kick tab, and then you want to do slash. And depending on your bot, you want to be sure that you have the tutorial bot selected or your bot selected. You then want to, if I can remember what the command is, you then want to set audit channel. You'll then see a bunch of options pop up. Depending on the channel that you are using, for the tutorial I'm going to be using Kick. You want to find Group Instance Kick. Click on this, find the Discord channel, and you, if it successfully succeeds, you will see that it is associated the VRChat Group Audit Log Event Type Instant Kick with this channel right here. To be sure that you've done this correctly, you can do slash config info. And you will see that instance kick has worked perfectly fine. If you are interested in making your bot join a channel, unfortunately there is no current way, at least I don't think there is, let me double check. There is a way. Okay, I am. I apologize for this. If you would like your bot to join a channel, I'm going to be using the general channel for this. Set the voice channel, Discord channel, and then you want to go to your general tab. And as you'll see, the bot will automatically join the voice channel. This bot will be deafened on purpose. It is so that you know that your bot is not listening to you. This bot only does TTS. Uh, it'll call out people that are in bad groups, people who are staff members, and etc. If you would like to customize your bot, you can do set TTS voice. Depending on all the voices that you have, you will either see three options or you'll see none. If you do not see none, you likely have the default voice, which is perfectly fine. And that voice is the only voice that you have on your operating system. Installing other TTS voices are something that you can do by yourself. I am not going to be including it into this tutorial for the sake of the tutorial. But this is the tutorial on how to set up Scarlet properly. Thank you.